An American Treasury report says the United States will now impose sanctions to prevent further destabilization in the euro-dollar trade war. On the line now from Washington is our embargo correspondent Peter O'Hanrahan. Peter, what exactly is going to be done? Good evening, Chris. Uh, well, what exactly is going to be done is, is exactly the right question that we've all been asking all day, and now we've finally got the answer. And the answer is the Americans have come down very, very, very hard indeed on the European community. What are they going to be doing? They're going to be uh, imposing all manner of trade sanctions and embargoes uh, on a sliding scale of percentage points, and this could prove very costly in Brussels. So what are the exact numbers in the report? It's, it's hard to say because at various different times in the report they change the... And, and uh, what, at what page a, in the report do they mention the numbers? All, well, all the pages ov obviously tacitly refer to the numbers, but it's a sliding scale. That's what, what you have what? to understand. It slides the scale, and therefore it's very difficult to ascertain exactly what the right, Americans... Peter, Peter, Peter. The report that you've read... Yes. Have you read the report? It has certainly been read. Who's read it? Many people have read it. Have you? The question is, is not one that I consider... When did you worth. read it? At the press conference it was handed to at, me and I... At the press I, conference you're given... I was given the document at the press conference and I, I certainly read some parts of it there. What I want to know is what the Americans are going to impose. Can you tell me now or are you about to leave? No, I can't tell you. Yes, I'm leaving. Peter, thank you very much. And you, Chris. On the hour. In news terms, it has an enormous packet. And more of that train stuff has just been coming in. Commuter chaos continues in the capital today. Station slippage has been exacerbated by vandals who are attaching loose stations to the backs of... A consortium of junior Treasury ministers in Strasbourg has agreed on a projected budget deficit for the European community. Joining me now on the line is our deficit correspondent, Peter O'Hanrahan. Peter, what's the atmosphere like now in Strasbourg? Well, it's been uh, an extraordinary day here in Strasbourg. The European junior treasury ministers have come to a historic uh, agreement here on, on budget deficits for Europe in 96. Thanks, Peter. What else? <laughs> The percentages have just been announced, 55% pork belly deficit, 30% cocoa deficit, 30% juice benefit deficit. Making 115%. Correct. 115 out of 100. Yes. Percent means out of 100, you've just given us 115 out of 100. How do you I get that? What... I didn't get it, Chris. Well, you've got it written down in front of you. Yes, you've I just have. read it out. Yes. How does it work, then? How can you get 115 out of 100? The, that is the European way. All right, you can, just, you can just sit there in Strasbourg and tell me how it feels as you cruise casually past a finite barrier like 100 out of 100 towards 101, 102, 103 and God knows 115 it go out of 100! It doesn't go beyond 15, it won't go any further. All right, carry on. It's the thin end carry of a on. very, very, very complex wedge. What do you mean a complex wedge? Comple I've got the wedge in front of me. I can see it and it's complicated. Surely a wedge is a simple triangular device causing a split. Not necessarily. OK, tell me how complex this wedge is. It's got wires on it. How do they help? They're all different colours and they connect. Each one represents a different nation. <laughs> Peter. Yes, Chris. I'm not the only person who's becoming increasingly annoyed with your rather tedious louche style. I'm sorry. Don't say anything more! I can't stand your sniffing! <sighs> Peter, thank you. I said thank you. Oh! I, I thought that meant I could go. Peter, thank you. Just... Re thank you! On the hour. A sensible broadsheet among the brightly coloured rubbish.